who came but, up with the name of these studio machine games? Well, whenever you're trying to come up with a name, you run into this problem that all names and all domains, internet <laughs> domains, are taken. Um, this is something actually that William Gibson predicted like 20 years ago. I think it was in Mona Lisa Overdrive. I'm not 100% though, but there, there's a guy whose job is basically to come up with names. So he has some <laughs> random name generator that is clicking 10,000 times <laughs> in order to find a new name that isn't taken. But, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a very long process of us arguing about the name I wanted something that was, you know, implied a team of some kind, but couldn't really come up with anything good there. Um, we had another name first, but it didn't pan out. I, I don't remember why, if it was, you know, some other company was already called that or whatever. But then one day Magnus just showed up and he had, <laughs> he had registered the domain machine games. Uh, and we thought, well, that sounds, sounds kind of cool. Let's let's do that. And then we kind of build the brand identity around machines, I suppose. Yeah. So you were talking about uh, 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 talking to it and uh, acquiring. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, I mean, we had a track record, but it wasn't Starbreeze asking them, right? It was this new entity with yeah. a few people in it. And although we were the leadership people of Starbreeze in many ways, uh, definitely creatively and technically, we we didn't have a team because we didn't have money to hire a team. Like it's a catch twenty two there, right? So we had to convince them that not only were we competent enough to do it, um, but we could also get the people needed to do it. Uh, so we we talked to to them, and uh, we basically. Uh, we went to id Software to, you know, get to know them, get to learn the engine, but also to prove ourselves to them because they ultimately had to sign off on us uh, doing a Wolfenstein game. So we spent a couple of weeks at id Software when they were based in Mesquite, Texas. And we, uh, you know, we... We, we basically learned the tools, we built a level, put gameplay in, uh, designed a story. Uh, we, we, we utilized all of our skills uh, as individuals. Uh, the programmers started fixing bugs that they had a hard time <laughs> fixing. It, it was really crazy because, you know, uh, for most of us, for me, for example, coming up with a story, all it takes is like a Word document and I can you know, fudge some pictures and some images in Photoshop and make a nice presentation. That's not so complicated. And But for the uh, gameplay people, they have to literally learn brand new tools and, uh, uh, you know, build a level and, and make it happen, you know, make it playable and make it fun. But the programmers, they have the worst time of it because they've never seen the code base before. And so they have no idea they don't have a frame of reference for how a bug might uh, appear in their in this code uh, so they get a, so so basically what it it did was say okay here here are some bugs that we have a very hard time solving we haven't found the cause of them can you take a look at them and see what you can do uh, and i remember <laughs> jim uh, our uh, or machine games uh, uh, what what is it? C CTO? Yeah, CTO. Uh, he came up to me and, and he whispered like, dude, I've I've never seen this code base. I have no fucking idea what this bug is. Like uh, it's, a, it's it's a total mystery. And I said, Okay, well just try your best, you know, everything hinges on this. <laughs> And so he went away and then he came back two hours later and he said, Okay, I found the bug. It was the same bug we had at Starbreeze back in the day. Wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's great to have people around you that are extremely competent. Uh, that uh, that is reassuring for everybody when you when you know somebody can take on a challenge like that that um, and succeed efficiently. That's cool.